It's not a good thing that Lexus has done two recalls in a week for the Lexus NX. Lexus North America just recalled the NX250 and 350 for the electronic parking brake. At this point, it looks like this new recall applies to vehicles produced for domestic Japan market and the Australian market. Lexus Japan on September 1st, 2022 filed a recall notice with the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, Transportation, and Tourism for the Lexus NX, which includes all models, the 250, 350, 350H, and the 450H+. We also found Lexus Australia has two recalls. In this video, I will try to decode Japanese and deep dive on what they are recalling and also look at what Lexus in Australia is recalling. Hey, it's LSFT here today, and today we're here to talk about another recall. The Lexus Japan recall involves three issues. It's obvious that we can't read Japanese, but thankfully to Google Translate, we can decode and get details on what these recalls are all about. So the first issue is related to the Lane Tracing Assist. The Lane Tracing Assist driving support device, due to some incorrect software, there are some cases where the correction of the steering wheel in the Lane Trace Assist is insufficient due to a deviation of the neutral position of the steering wheel. The steering angle may not be 100% correct in the software. And depending on the curve and the vehicle speed, an early warning may be activated and the driver may be required to steer the vehicle, which does not comply to Article 11 of the Japanese safety standards. And this looks like there is a similar recall to other Toyota products. The second issue is related to the audio display, and in North America we call it Lexus Interface. When the vehicle is restarted during navigation route guidance, due to improper software, the image of the panoramic view monitor is displayed immediately, or when the navigation guidance map is displayed over the image on the left side of the vehicle, it is said that the image on the left side of the vehicle cannot, confirm, cannot be confirmed and that there is a risk. And that, that also does not comply to Article 44 of the Japanese safety standards. The third issue seems to be the same issue that was recalled in North America. The electronic parking brake. Seems like there is a little bit more information provided in this recall than what was provided in the North America one. And it says that there is an issue with the control computer power supply circuit which delays the response causing a warning light to turn on and causing the electronic parking brake to not operate. The good thing is, all three issues seem to be software related issues and nothing mechanical. All owners have to do is book time with their dealership and get the software updated while you enjoy the Lexus dealership experience. The Japanese recall notice does have a lot of details, as it breaks down each batch of vehicles per model and when they were produced. It also says which of the three issues applies to those vehicles. You would see that they produce a lot of the NX 250s, 350s, 350h, and also the 450h+. And in the recall notice, it actually displays a diagram explaining what the fault is and how it, is, it will get resolved. I have also translated the images so that you can actually see the details that they provide as part of this recall. You can definitely pause the video to view the three issues. So now to Australia. There are three recalls in Australia. First issue is related to the same issue that was recalled in North America, the electronic parking brake recall for the NX250 and 350. The second issue is related to the lane tracing assist, which was same described in the Lexus Japan recall. 
And the third recall is unique to Australia. It is related to the vehicle finder option in the My Connect app, and the software update is required to meet ADR, which is the Australian Design Rules, the national technical standard for vehicle safety, theft resistance, and emissions. So if you're an Australian viewer and you have more information on this last recall, please leave comments below. This seems to be the third wave of recalls on the 2022 Lexus NX. And the good thing is, most of these recalls have been software related and has not caused any accidents. The first model year have taken a hit on the NX, but some of the recalls are issues that have been found on older Toyota models too. As vehicles continue to rely on more software, I suspect more recalls of this nature will occur. As Lexus starts to wrap up the production of the 2022 NX, hopefully 2023 will have less issues as the issues during manufacturing have been resolved. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, please comment, like, and share this video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel and press that alert button to get notified when new videos are posted. If you'd like to support the channel, you can definitely provide a super thanks. I'll see you guys again next time in the next video.